Hello everyone, my name is Kevin. welcome back to the channel, and we are playing some Wrath Chapter 2. I've had a lot of people ask me if I want to play this, I definitely want to. No, we're not quitting 7 Days to Die, Wasteland Warrior is still on, but it's always nice to kind of venture off and try some new things a little bit. Now, I am not new to the world of Raft. I have played this game since it was a free game back on itch.io when it was developed by three college students as their final. Stuck with it through the years, some off and on. But I have not played this since before Chapter 2 came out and the ships that they put in, the big ships. I haven't seen those yet. So I know some things, don't know other things. We're going to start a brand new world and just a regular normal world and uh, see what we can do with it. So let's just get into it. All right, and we are here, and you can see we're greeted by a stupid bird right off the bat. That's always nice. Good to see that they're already out in force. Not really, but you know what? There goes Brucey coming to say hi to us as well. That doesn't bode well that we already have a shark right next to us and birds flying overhead. Now, the birds won't attack you, of course. They only go after plots and farms to, or food stuff that you have here, so you don't have to worry about them for a while. So, now I don't know how many of you that are watching have that much experience playing this game. So, I'm going to try and do like I normally do and, you know, commentate and kind of explain some things as I'm going along. Just in case you've never seen this before. If you have, well, then it'll be just a refresher course. And again, there's going to be things that I don't know what they are because they were added since the last time I played. Also, normally when I play this, I play with a couple friends. It's been a little while since I've done solo. Put all of you up here. All right, now I need to get a spear right off the bat. I make some rope. Can't make any more. Need a bunch of more stuff. Because old Brucey here, if you don't know, is going to come up and attack my raft. It's what he likes to do on a pretty regular basis. He'll swim up and take a chunk of your raft. Does some damage to it. You got to repair it, etc. But you got to have the tools to do that first. How about a barrel? There's no barrels over here. That's not good. Barrels, if you don't know, they float by every once in a while, and they're a good source of multiple items. They usually have, you know, a bunch of resources, you know, all together here. See if we can get a couple things here. Check this out. Get a couple. Uh, nice. Get a couple uh, palm leaves and a couple planks at the same time. Definitely going to be nice. So yeah, I don't know exactly what all the end game on this is. The last time I think we played it is when they added islands to the game, and that was pretty cool. Being able to not islands, the end island where you can kind of um, there's the bigger enemies you have to deal with. There's a bunch of different stuff that they added there, but the big islands. That's the last time we played was when they put that in here. Now, as far as how I'm going to do like length of video for here, I'm not entirely sure yet because there's not a there's not a defined stopping point. The nighttime on the rafts can be pretty dark. So we'll just kind of have to see. I need to get my spear going here just in case old Brucey shows up and decides to start talking some trash. We can stab him in the face hole. But um, right at the moment, we just we need to get a bunch of resources. We finally got a barrel coming over here. Get you. This is pretty much what this game is, if you've never played it, is it's resource management. It looks like we had an island coming over there. Resource management and multitasking like a champ. You've got to be able to find ways to get food and water and supplies and expand your raft and build things and learn things and try and get to the islands when you see them so that you can do some diving to collect resources because... Whoops, that was stupid. Because there's some things you can't get until you start diving underwater, etc. Alright, so we did get some scrap iron here, some... Um, scrap this is what you kind of need to be able to build some stuff all right so we got that first thing i need to get going is i need to make a cup so i can get my drink on put you over here so i can find you simple purifier we need some more plastic and for a grill we need some more rope so we need to get some more things floating here actually what i need to do first is i need to build a building tool so i can expand my raft because this little two by two i'm sitting on is not going to work here uh get some of this get going there all right, now I can do one. If you can get to a three by three pretty early on, it definitely helps out with a lot of the resources you have to deal with uh, as far as like the shark and stuff. Because if he bites off one of the corners here in your raft early on and you have like your purifying station or your grill or something on there, it's gone. It just falls off in the water and you don't get it back. And that sucks when that happens. Sucks real bad, yeah. Okay, we need some more plastic. There's some ranch hall. Give me that. Okay. And put you right there. That's at least a two by three. Get a couple more going over on that side right over here, and we shall be just fine. Get both of you right here at the same time. 
there is a surprising low number of barrels. I mean, there's a couple now showing up. But the last couple times I played this, I swear there was a chunk of them right at the very beginning. Unfortunately, I don't have a way to steer this thing. So unless I get lucky and, you know, slam this thing into the side of that island over there, I'm going to end up missing it. And I might end up missing that barrel. No, I got it. See if we can get some wood while we do it. Because, you know, free wood's always good. Even in this game. Get this barrel over here. Get a little bit more scrap. Because there's some things I'm going to need some scrap for. Like uh, the sail. Once you do get the sail, then you can have a way to st uh, steer your boat a little bit better. And that's freaking awesome. Get you. Get you. Alright, let's see if we can't expand this a little bit more this direction. Don't do it. You little mother... I just built that. Just built it, man. And now I already have to repair it. You suck. Oh, you suck. Did I did I get the repair part? Okay, I did. Now I gotta see if I can build onto it, which I can't because I need more plastic parts. Thanks a lot, Bruce. Thanks a lot. Yep, we're gonna end up missing the island. Now you can, if you don't know, you can get to the islands and if you have an axe, you can chop down trees, which you can find coconuts for. You know, coconuts or free milk or free uh, food, free drink, that sort of thing. You know what you can get with coconuts for. But where you want to get is underwater. You can see all the resources down there. That is where you get a lot of stuff at the islands because you have the shallows then. But, of course, diving down there, you also have to deal with a stupid shark. Just because that's what they like to do. Ruin everything. Just as if survival wasn't bad enough. Oh, nice. We got the barrel and the wood. Got a barrel over there, but I don't know if it's going to float this way or not. So in the initial game, when it first came out, the lore of this was that you basically wake up on a raft that has fallen apart. And you are in the trash lane of what used to be your ship. And I need to go ahead and make me another plastic hook. If that one breaks, I'm going to have to haul my butt out there and swim to get all this crap. So I need to make sure I can at least make that before I start building onto it. So anyway, yeah, you that was kind of how the lore was, is that everything you were doing was picking up crap that was, you know, floating from the ship that you originally were on before you ended up lampooned down here on a raft. Now I think it's just, hey, you're in a water world, ta-da, congratulations. You suck and you're stranded now. So we need a bunch of resources. I need to get a purifier going pretty soon so I can start getting some more water. Because that's going to run down real fast. Let's see where we are on that here. Simple purifier needs more plastic. See if I can get you. I'm probably not going to get lucky enough to do this. Maybe. Oh, we just barely missed it. Just barely. Go ahead and see if I can pick you up. Because we're definitely going to need some more rope. Gotcha. Go ahead and get you and your buddy here. And our hook broke. Put you over there. You, you, up in there. I like having all of my building resources. Nope. Ugh, in my inventory, is not on my tool belt. Dang it, really? We got the suck going on here. Okay, go ahead and get this first. And get this barrel here. Sweet. Got. A, I think we got two raw potatoes. Nice. You can just eat those raw, but I need to get a grill so I can cook those. So that is on the to-do list. But I need to get some more plastic. And if I can't stop missing them, then that'd be great. So yeah, I'm hoping you guys will give these kinds of videos a chance. Uh, you know, it's nice to be able to branch out and try different games because, you know, to get the channel to really grow to the point where it's uh, sustainable and more than just a side business, got to be able to branch out and do other games. And so this is definitely one I want to do. More plastic. What about a grill? We can go ahead and get the grill going here. We can't cook anything yet besides the potatoes, but we can definitely get one of those. Let me just put you down here. Put another plank, get that cooking. Cooked potatoes do a little bit better than raw potatoes. Obviously, that's just like most food and most survival games. You eat it raw, you don't get the resources you would like if you cooked it. Oh, don't want to miss that. Heave! Gotcha. Come on, something good. Some plastic. Got some raw beets there, too. Okay, we're okay on food. I might not have to worry about getting a fishing pole just yet, which would be fantastic. Get some more plastic. I kind of wish these big pieces of plastic here gave you more than just one. You know, if you got like a jug floating around versus a bumper, that's what this looks like. It, you think it would work out a little bit better. Uh, okay, we can make the purifier now. Go ahead and put you right there. Alright, get some 
put you there, put a plank down, and we are good to go on that. Give me you real quick. I'd like to be able to get this raft to a 4x4, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that or not here. So we can do this. I'm going to go ahead and eat this potato. See, it doesn't go up a lot, just a tiny little bit, but every little bit helps. And we'll get some more water before we start getting thirsty. I think I see some barrels coming up over here too. Oh, a bunch of barrels. What I really, really want to get to as quickly as possible is to be able to make the collection nets because those will allow me to be able to strap those onto the front of the boat here and those just pick up crap as I'm going along. I don't have to try and angle for those. I'm doing they just picks them up. Dang it, Bruce. Hang on, let me get that. Don't you break my raft, man. There's barrels here. I need to get it. Get off. If you make me miss those, I'm going to be unhappy. Go ahead and get you real quick. Don't you think you're getting away from me? No. Nice. It's nice that they gave us some uh, food here. Those beets and stuff, they're not... They're not fantastic, but every little bit helps. So get you, drink this, pick you up, put you in there, you're good to go. Cooked potato, all right, let's get some of these beets cooking again. Now you can craft a fishing pole. I'm, I'm glad we got some food here, that's definitely nice. You can craft a fishing pole and obviously catch fish with it. And what's funny is that sometimes with these fishing poles, you'll catch fish that's too big to fit on your little bitty makeshift grill that you have here. You'll catch like a, what is it, a salmon? I don't even remember what all fish they have in this game now that are too big, but you gotta have like the heavy duty grill and that kind of sucks when you don't have that. <laughs> it's like, man, I got a stack full of fish here that I can't do anything with. Go ahead and keep you nice and topped off. Let me see, oh, I need to get some more wood on you. Go ahead and get one more on you. Get this barrel right here. Oh, I need to check and see what idiot face did to my boat over here. He decides to come back. Look at that, I almost forgot. He'd come back over and hit that. Now, I don't know for certain if he specifically targets weak points or not, if that's how he's geared as AI. I've never tested it or anything like that, so. I don't know if he religiously tries to go towards the things that are already busted up, but that sounds like what a jerk shark would do, does it not? Go ahead and get this one here. Oh, we missed a plank with it, no big deal. Nice, got some more plastic, got some more scrap. I need to be able to expand my raft as much as possible. So you can do like this, this, ah, uh, need just a couple more here. Oh, nope, nope. You didn't see anything, you saw nothing. Need that. Get you. Uh, that barrel should come right to us. Let's see if I can get both these pieces of wood here. Definitely going to need as many planks as we can possibly get. Building. That's one of the things like wood goes faster than almost anything else. Oh, dang it. We threw that way too far. I was trying to line it up and get both of them and ended up missing both of them entirely. Got another potato. Sweet. Pick you up. Put you down. Go ahead, eat you, keep the food up. See, that doesn't go up a lot either, but every little bit helps again. Let's get some more supplies. So I think if uh, we do a video where we go from daylight through the night into the the beginning of the next day, that's probably somewhere close to maybe a 20 minute video. And I think that'd be pretty good, at least to start with. Uh, get another plank there. You're good, right? Yep, you're good. Don't Don't run away from me. Come back here. Good to go. Got a couple more. Got another island that we can't get to because we don't have a sail. It's all right. We'll get there eventually. I don't know if I can get that out there or not. We can try. Got it. And bam. Two piece. Sweet. Got some more rope. Got some scrap. It's nice finding scrap in the barrels because the only other place you can get scrap is on the islands by doing some diving. Put you right there. And nice. We got us a good 4x4 four four raft here. Now, what do we need to be able to make us a sail? How far away are on? Oh, we can make a sail now. Hell yeah. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put you right... Let's see. We'll, we'll put you right here. Right there. Sweet. Now we can actually steer this bad boy a little. That's good. Give me that. Oh, dang it. We missed it. Let's see if I can pick it up. I'm going to end up needing that pretty soon because I'm going to need another hook pretty soon before this one dies out on me or anything. Get you... See, we do... Oh, there's an island right over there. Let's see if we can't rotate you that direction. It's going to throw us off the trash lane. That's one of the things, but if you decide to venture off course too much, 
Uh, we need to go that way a little bit more. Angle it just a tad. You venture off too far, and then you end up having to try and swerve a lot to get back into where all the trash is here, basically. All right, what do we have there? We have cooked beet. Put you on there. Going to eat the other one I have. I'd love to be able to kill this stupid idiot here just so we can get his, you know, big shark steaks. But I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon. Especially if that jerk doesn't stop beating on our boat. Alright, let's see. Are we going to be able to... Hold on, let me go ahead and uh, make myself another hook. Get that one ready to go. Uh, the way this is... Hang on. I don't, I don't know if the wind is at our back here. We don't have one of those little wind indicators, which you can make down here, the little streamer. You can put down and it shows you the direction the wind's blowing. I don't know if we're going to... I think we're going against the wind. I think we're going to end up missing this one. There's not much on there anyway, and I don't have an axe, but I was hoping what I'd be able to do is get it to kind of hang out just a little bit so I might be able to dive down. Get some, put some more planks on there. You're good to go. Get another cooked bead on there just in case. Keep the food up, you know? Are we going to be able to make it? We might be able to get it over there. And if I can angle the sail the same exact direction the wind's... Nope, wrong way. Uh, the wind's blowing here. I might be able to get it to kind of stay put. I see you, stupid bird. And then we can get over there and do a little bit of exploring. Not a lot. And we got to keep an eye and make sure this raft doesn't float away while we're doing all our exploring. Well, let's go back up in this little groove a little bit. No, go that way just a little bit more. We're going against the wind. There we go. Now go that way. We'll steer this in here. And we might be able to get that to kind of stay put. Now, diving in the area of the islands is a little bit on the risky side just because, well, there's a shark here that wants to kind of eat you. Now, I'm going to leave my sail right here because if I put it up, I think it's going to just rotate. I don't think it'll stay put. Let me see what happens here. Are we good? We're good. Can I make an axe? Stone axe. I need more planks to be able to make an axe. What are the odds there's some just floating around right here? But you can see down below we got a bunch of stuff that's down there. Uh, let's see here. We can get back and forth. Can you stay right here, okay? Bruce, you leave me alone for a second, okay, man? I don't want to take any damage from you. What the hell was that? <laughs> Uh-oh. What are you doing? Oh, okay. The way it was, the way it looked like it was moving. I thought that stupid thing was going to float away from here. So you can break these down. Oh, there he is. You little bastard. Break these things down right here. You get some scrap from those. Dang, where'd he go? There used to be a glitch where he would kind of float. He would, like, swim through the islands, and that definitely sucked. All right, let's come up here real quick and see if there's any uh, pineapple. That's definitely good. See, I don't have any axes. Axes? <laughs> I don't have an axe? Nope. Get up. Come on, stupid. There you go. Nice. Got another uh, watermelon. Watermelon, that's great for food and water, obviously. Let's see if there's any other easy-to-get fruits here. Can I, wait, can I just, uh, I don't think I can just beat on you. Make sure my raft staying put here. I definitely don't want to have that stupid thing roam away, roam away here. All right, we got a little bit of material out there. I might be able to kind of get to. Come on, can you not, can you not throw your, wait, what's, go, what's going on here? Okay, all right, Th that works. Don't know what just happened, but okay. Let's see if we can't get this. It's kind of just staying put. Have to go a little further. Bruce, leave me alone, man. Leave me alone, dude. Dude, what the hell are you doing with your hook here? Besides being stupid. I don't know what you're doing. At least our boat is kind of parked here. Dawn of a new day. So what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and end this video here. We'll pick right back up where we left off. I might do two videos right in a row just for funsies because we are at this point. Oh, what is this? Pineapple seeds. Nice. Nice. See, I can go ahead and eat this. That's pretty good. I can jump over here and get some water real quick. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. But, uh, like I said, we'll pick up right where we left off and uh, continue on our little adventure i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did do me a favor and leave a like on the video if you're new here make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos in the meantime you guys have a wonderful day and i will talk to you later